Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, a Cheeky Scientist. Uh, today's question comes from Barry Hobkin. You guys keep rattling on about elevator pitches, but everyone says to do something different for this. Uh, once and for all, what is a good elevator pitch and how do I use it? Uh, so the best way to write an elevator pitch, and we've seen this be very, very effective, um, is to write one that answers three questions. First, who are you? What do you want? And why should anybody else but you care? All right, so who are you? What do you want? And why should anybody else care? Now, the first one, who are you, is important because it's divided into two parts. All right, so who are you professionally or technically? Right, let's say you're an immunology specialist or a certain type of historian, whatever kind of PhD you are, right? What's your, what's your specialty? But also, who are you personally? Not too personal, but who are you personally? Something that shows that you're well-rounded, right? Maybe you're into arts and crafts or hiking. Uh, maybe you play the bass guitar on the weekends. Uh, whatever it might be, uh, you need to share that information, especially in networking events. Certainly, you know, in an interview, you walk in, they say, well, tell me a little bit about yourself. When you're telling the people who you are, don't just mention who you are technically. Show them that you're well-rounded. Talk about something um, that's a little bit personal, but again, not too personal. You want to show them you're well-rounded. You don't want to say, I'm into, you know, magic cards or Dungeons and Dragons or gaming, right? You don't want to uh, pigeonhole yourself even more. Again, show that you're well-rounded, and it can be as simple as you like the outdoors or you like hiking. Um, second, and, and the second question is, you know, what do you want? And this is where your target audience really matters. Now, if you're walking into an interview, you can, of course, say, you know, during your elevator pitch, you can say, well, what I want is a, a project management position. Okay, but if you're at a networking event, you may not want to jump in and tell you know, everyone, you're just there to get a job, you might want to say, well, I'm looking to expand my network, or I'm looking to make connections in XYZ area. Okay, and then finally, why should anybody else but you care? Most people forget about this, but why should anybody else but you care? Um, this is as simple as saying, well, you know, what's the bigger reason behind getting a job? If you want a job in project management, why? Uh, maybe it's to help develop, you know, certain types of treatments for XYZ disease. Uh, maybe you want to see your, your knowledge, your scientific knowledge turned into um, a product, right? Translated into a product that helps people. And when you put all these together, it can be as simple as, you know, I'm an immunology specialist. Uh, I enjoy hiking on the weekends uh, when I get a chance to do it. Uh, I'm looking for positions in project management because I, I really want to see my, my scientific knowledge uh, translated into a product that helps people, right? Or I, I really want to use my team working skills uh, to help develop treatments for XYZ disease. Uh, so hopefully this will help you when you craft your elevator pitch. Remember to answer those three questions. And until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.